Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this lecture I am starting the course of the PIC microcontroller where I will first give you the brief introduction about the internal architecture or the registers that we will be frequently using for programming the PIC microcontroller and then later on we will start the lessons about the assembly language programming because you can program the PIC microcontroller either in the assembly language or in the C language, fine. And obviously for understanding the assembly language programming, you must have the idea of the internal registers of the PIC microcontroller because in assembly language, we actually address those registers directly or we can access or deal with them directly or call them or use them by with their mnemonics. Okay, and the later on uh, we will uh, see how we can program this microcontroller in the language C. Fine. Now moving forward, we uh, will see that the most frequently used registers in the PIC microcontroller are the reg register and the file register. These two registers are very important for writing down the con code in the assembly language programming because whenever we are manipulating some constant values or the data we will be using this reg register or we can also store the values in the file registers so let's have a look what is the reg uh, register okay reg is an 8-bit register it, which means it can manipulate 8 bit of data at a time it starts from d0 and its last bit is d7 reg register has the role similar to the accumulator accumulator register Okay, accumulator register just like in the microprocessors of Intel. So it means it is used for performing the arithmetic operations like addition, division or multiplication. The values are supposed to be first present in the reg register. The resultant will also be stored in the reg register of the arithmetic operations or the logical operations. Fine. Okay. The next register is the file register. We will discuss this in detail. Okay, if you look at the types of the memory of the microcontroller, there you can see the program memory. Or the data memory. I'm discussing the classifications of memories of memory basically okay the program memory is used for writing the code while the data memory is used for storing the for storing variables that you will be using while uh, for storing the variables that you will be using in the code or your program okay now what is the file register of the PIC microcontroller just like the reg the PIC microcontroller has many other registers they are called the data memory space to distinguish them from the program memory space okay the data memory space in the PIC IC is read write memory. Okay, the file register is read write memory used by the CPU for the data storage, or you can use it for the scratch pad, and some of the uh, other parts can be used for uh, the internal purposes or the other functions. Fine. Okay, the file register is divided further into two registers or two types of the registers that are the special function registers or also known as the SFRs or the general purpose registers which are known as the GPRs. Fine. The special function registers as the name indicates that they have been reserved for the special purposes or for performing the special tasks and some of the special functions like are like analog to digital conversion 
pulse speed modulation there is certain kind of the timer programming for which we will be using or we need the wizard registers similarly the other registers are port a port b and up to so on it depends on which family of the pic microcontroller you are dealing with so maximum pic family has port e register okay till port e registers and uh, the general purpose registers are used or the group of the RAM locations in the file registers that are used for the storage of the data and the scratch pad. Okay. They are used for storage the data and scratch pad. And GPRs are usually 8 bit wide so it means they can process an 8 bit of data at a time okay so you can generally say that in the ram excluding the sfrs that can range from 7 to almost 100 byte registers or there are minimum 7 and maximum 100 SFRs present corresponding to the different families of the PIC microcontroller fine so the total number of the RAM that is that can be found is equal to 4096 bytes which means if you exclude 100 from from 906 you will left with the GPRs and obviously all peak microcontrollers do not have this much RAM available okay some of the families have only two K and others might have 68 or 25 or so and so on now let's have a look how the file register or this 4096 bytes are actually further divided so let's see this is the overall location of the file register where how many bytes we are having available 4096 bytes fine if you write it in this format you can also say that we have actually 4 kilo byte available if this 4k can also be written as 2 raised to power 2 into 2 raised to power 10 since 2 raised to power 10 corresponds to 1k and 2 raised to power 2 corresponds to 4 so 4 kilobyte of the ram is available okay in terms of the bits you know that how many bits are available for representing this memory it's equal to 12 because 2 raised to power 12 will be giving us this much space and one thing more each location is 8 bit wide fine if you have total number of bits for representing or accessing this memory which is equal to 12 in this case and we know that each hex digit require four 
bits for its representation so we can split these 12 bits in the combination of 4 starting from 0 0 0 0 and making them all equal to 1 sorry equal to 1 will give us the starting and ending address of this memory location fine so 000, 000 means 000, 000 hex so the first location of the ram will have the address of 000, 000 hex fine and the last location will have the address of 0 ff hex or you don't need to write 0 before that because we are having only 12 bits for that okay now what happens in the file register we have reserved 128 bytes for SFRs and one important thing about the SFR is that each microcontroller must have the SFRs so FS SFRs must be present in each microcontroller so I will write microcontroller as mu C and the remaining memory can be used for the GPRs okay so basically the amount of the GPRs is actually flexible it can vary from controller to controller fine since we have allocated 128 bytes for the SFRs let's mark it here SFRs okay so the rest of the memory can be used for the GPRs okay this one can be used for the general purpose registers now what happens we have further divided these 4096 bytes into banks which are also known as the register banks and each register bank is or each bank is of 256 byte so total number of banks available can be found by just dividing the whole memory size to the size of the bank which is equal to 16 so overall 16 banks are available in the peak microcontroller okay now let's have a look how these banks are actually composed so again uh, looking at the file register now we know the starting address is 000, 000 hex ending address is triple f hex fine and 128 bytes are here for the SFRs and similarly you will see one thing more 128 bytes starting first 128 bytes have been reserved for the GPRs okay now what does it mean it means if we take 128 bytes from here and 128 bytes from here and we combine them we get a single bank or bank zero so bank zero is composed of 128 bytes of gprs and 128 bytes of sfrs 
fine this bank is also known as the access bank and it must be present in every microcontroller fine now let's just try to determine the addresses of the start of the access bank and the ending of the access bank since we have reserved 128 bytes for the gpr so the starting address of the access bank will be equal to 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex and it's it is consisting of 128 bytes so 0 plus 120 so starting from the 000, 0, 0 hex the end location of the gpr will be having the will be the 127th byte location because total 128 bytes are here so 120 starting from the 0 to 127 will make total of 128 bytes okay if you convert this into hex you will get the value of 07f hex so its ending uh, its ending address will be 07f hex fine and similarly if you subtract 128 bytes from 4095 why from zero, from 4095 because if the ram location is starting at the address of 000, 000, 000 hex so starting from 0 and ending at 4095 will give us total of 4096 different slots okay now if we want to find the starting address of the SFRs, what we need to do, we will just subtract for 128 from 4095, okay? 4095 minus 128 gives us 3967. And if you convert it into hex, it's equal to, this is equal to in hex as F. 7 f hex so this is the starting address of the sfrs f7 f hex okay Okay, so one thing you must always remember that since you are using uh, the overall locations as 4096, so when you will subtract uh, 128 from 4096, obviously you are going to get 3968 because the total number of the bytes is actually equal to 4096. So that's why you must remember that you need to subtract 128 from 4096 and this will give you the value of F80 in hex which is actually the starting address of sfr f80 hex fine and then f7 f hex will be actually the terminating or the ending address of the gprs so gprs are terminating at this address so various big micro controllers must have different amount of the gprs available but you can find the fixed number of the SFRs uh, on the website of the PIC microcontroller family. Okay. So this uh, bank 0 or the access bank is actually composed of the, this is called, another name for this is segment 0 and this is actually segment 1. So in this way, these two can be merged to form a first bank. Similarly, then you can take 128 bytes next from here and then again the SFRs from here and you can actually make the bank 1, bank 2 and so on. Fine. 